Hey guys, as I was wandering around in Stanley Park, waiting for the aquarium to open, I came across this uh, random looking structure and I'm trying to figure out what it was. It looked like zoo enclosures and it's not that far off from the aquarium, which is just back there. It's just south of the aquarium. And uh, I couldn't figure out what it was, but uh, after a little bit of research, Stanley Park used to have a zoo and they used to have polar bears. And these were the polar bear enclosures. You can still see the remnants of the, the bear cages still down there for transporting them. The zoo was closed, I believe, in 1996 or something like that. And uh, everything else, all the animals were either moved on to other, other exhibits in other places, other zoos, other institutions, or if they were petting animals, they went over to the petting zoo that's still here in Stanley Park to this day. But uh, this one setup, this two pit polar bear enclosure, there's one there. And there's one there and they had two resident polar bears and uh, they got polar bears gifted to them by the Hudson's Bay Company in 1962 <laughs> and the zoo closed down but they left these two polar bear exhibits up for a few years longer until the last remaining resident I believe uh, the, the polar bear's name was Tuck and it died of the ripe old age of 36. The enclosures themselves have been completely taken over by nature there's a nice little graffiti, graffiti type nod to the last remaining polar bear. Definitely shows you what zoos used to be like and definitely not what they're like today. I'm assuming this whole bottom section, instead of vegetation, this probably would have all been filled with, uh, with water. Pretty primitive by today's standards for beautiful enclosures that you know provide all sorts of forms of enrichment you know, something as I was waiting for the aquarium to open just kind of wandering past enjoying nature I all of a sudden I see these pits just off the parking lot and I'm like what what are these for and they definitely look like they're a little bit bigger stronger built than something you'd think for something like a seal Very, very neat to see. Kind of hoping that they'd maybe finish the destruction, take this all down and let nature reclaim this area. I think it would be nicer for Stanley Park and for Vancouver as a whole. But something hidden, something found. Something I wouldn't have known about. I just thought it was kind of neat and I wanted to share it with you. Some of the rest, uh, Western red cedars that are growing in Stanley Park are centuries old. These truly mammoth trees, they reach for the sky. But here's the shell of one. To give you an idea, it's probably about 12 feet across at the base. But this one here didn't die of natural causes. This one was struck by lightning. And lightning, because the trees reach so high, it's all charred on the inside. I don't know the purpose of all the wire. I don't know what, that, what the purpose of that being added. Maybe originally it was all put up to stop people from trying to climb inside. But it's an absolutely monster of a tree. And the whole core is gone. Because the lightning would have gone right down and charred the whole inside of the tree. And the tree would have eventually fallen over. But it's a monster. Stanley Park is located only minutes from downtown Vancouver. And I'm probably only maybe 10, 15 feet off of a walking path on the side of a road. You can hear the road noise behind me in most of these images. And I look at some of these old stumps of some of these ancient trees. Once they have fallen, you see how life finds a way of recovering them and they become support for a new tree and the rotting wood below becomes nutrient base you can hear a helicopter overhead so you can tell we're not far from civilization but you almost feel like you've been transported into a land like jurassic park so very different of anything that i have anywhere near my home
And even though I'm by myself, I feel like I'm being watched. Overhead in the branches, a large owl. And I did find this rather unique huntsman spider. Not necessarily unique to the species, just not something I have anywhere near me that constructs these gorgeous webs. Absolutely beautiful. Stanley Park this past season has experienced an extreme drought. And normally this, you know, it still looks rather lush, but the entire ground would be covered in mosses and ferns. Just an absolute lush, prehistoric looking forest. Spend time here, absolutely breathtaking. Every time I come to Vancouver, I always make sure a point I'm going to go into Stanley Park, just wandering around in the forest by myself, just breathing in nature. So, until next time, my friends, hopefully, you can get outside and explore the world around you. Uh -huh.